Hello, my YouTube viewers. It is I, Mealy Movies, here with a Joey campaign episode. Check that out. Ra is about to eat your face off. All right, let me talk about Joey's campaign for a little bit. The first episode is raid. Um, skipping past the text instead of uh, instead of reading it. Joey's campaign is the shortest of them all. Um, but it's probably one of the hardest because uh, I mean your your monsters aren't that leveled up uh, to take on the really really tough monsters. Let's uh, turn red eyes into black metal dragon and skip past all that. Haha, <laughs> in your face. And now let's start on raid. Um, uh, Joey's campaign, ten missions, roughly ten missions. Um, you do get some monsters that help you get other monsters in Yugi's and Kaiba's campaign. Don't know what happened right there with my recording software, huh? Um, if you guys remember the raid mission in uh, Kaiba's, this one is not like that. We're gonna be sending one guy over here get the roaming monsters. Um, you guys remember Neffel, right? The uh, the guy in uh, in one of Yugi's campaign missions. I forget what is I forget what the mission is called. But anyway, I'm, I'm gonna skip I'm gonna skip past the fights because you guys have, you guys have already seen these fights. Don't worry, I take care of you. You are my friends, and I take care of my friends. Yeah, see, see those are that those Ryukusen power teams have dual cyber cyber soldiers, uh, Thunder Dragon with dual Blackland Fire Dragon. Yeah, um, I should be able to mow through them with uh, with Joey's new team. I gave him Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon, and so if you guys haven't done that already, go ahead and do that because you're gonna be uh, gonna, you're gonna get back Red Eyes Black Dragon in uh. A Yuki campaign walk, uh, uh, rerun, not walkthrough, rerun. So get that done. If you guys haven't turned uh, Zoa into Metal Zoa, you might want to do that too. Personally, because Metal Zoa is way better than Zoa, and you're gonna need to get him again in Kaiba's rerun. As you can see, I took a little bit of uh, damage there in those two fights. Shouldn't be anything major. And then I'm gonna fight this guy. And yeah, I should be able to kick his ass. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. Right. Um, if you guys don't know who the boss is, it is Neffel, just like in. I, I have to say, it's Yugi's campaign. I think it's in the mission where you get Song of the Thunder and another Harpy Lady. Just uh, it's the same guy. Same guy. Same monsters. Same. Same. Same deal. Matter of fact, this is probably almost the same map. Well, no, never mind. No, it's not. It's not the same map. Just a different configuration of a different map. Um, I'm gonna have Giselle here. I'm gonna have him get the roaming monsters. Um. Now I don't know why it took him so long to uh to let you get these monsters that I'm about to show you. Oh, I don't know why they put them all the way in Joey's campaign. But again, it's probably just uh, my me rambling about uh, you know I, you know how I ramble you know you know that you know that. All right, I should be running into the roaming monsters pretty soon, and there we go. All right, Serpent Night Dragon, Sword Stalker, and Invitation to a Dark Sleep. It's a weird team, but I guess they go together since they all look pretty dark. Um, you know. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's break a key their faces off. That should deal a pretty decent amount of damage. Um, my Orion the Battle King still has not learned um, Moonlight Benediction, but I cannot wait until he does because Moonlight Bened Benediction is one of the best special moves in the game because it deals a good 500 damage to each monster and decreases their attack by roughly 2,000. I'm going to ramey them so that they are paralyzed. And if you guys don't know my uh, my strategy with this team, it is to first use Regaki to lower their uh, HP down by a thousand. Um, Orion will then proceed to use Moonlight Benediction on them um, until that should do that should do some good damage. While uh, Illusionist Facious Mage deals damage with magic and paralyzes them with Ramey. 
pretty decent uh, strategy, if I do say so myself. <laughs> Alright, that was an easy fight. That was super easy. You didn't stand a chance. And, well, anyway, you automatically got Sword Stalker, uh, Serpent Night Dragon, and Invitation to a Dark Sleep. You know, that is such a cool name for a monster, Invitation to a Dark Sleep. It just sounds so, you know, dark and mysterious. Ooh, it's just so cool. Alright, see, yeah, there you go, Neffel. Same team, same items. Um, he, he isn't even that powerful. I mean, anybody that has a uh, Winged Dragon Guardian, the Fortress number one on their team, obviously sucks. Unless, of course, they have super, super awesome monsters. But the only guy you should worry about in this fight is um, Neck Hunter, because he has so many action points and pretty decent attack. Ah, oh, and he got a critical right off the bat. Well, that sucks. Um, but one thing you do have to worry about is his Cane of the Swords Mistress has uh, two... Uh, well, he has 14 charges of blue medicine. So you're going to have to watch out for that. Luckily with me, uh, Joey's team is outfitted with some pretty awesome monsters. And they should do enough damage to uh, Ko uh, Kanan in three hits, and they do. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Super awesome, as a matter of fact. And his pitiful fireball will do no, almost, yeah, basically no damage. Foolish fireball. You should have known better. Alright, I'm going to take out Nick Hunter next. Ah, I still have that joke in my mind. Nick Hunter next. Ah, uh, it's funny. You're supposed to laugh. My sister doesn't get that joke. I don't get it. Whatever. Uh, crap. He's getting pretty close to death. I'm going to heal him. Dun 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 dun. You know, some a uh, uh, a team I've always wanted to make was uh, Axe Raider plus uh, Battle Ox plus Garuzis. Because all three of their attacks are crushing axe, and I just thought that would be pretty cool. Three warriors with the same attack, but different uh, different statures and different different races. You know, a lizard, an ox, and a human-ish character in a purple skirt. Why a purple skirt? Why a purple skirt? Why, bro? Because real man wore purple. Unless, of course, you're Justin Bieber. And you don't count as a real person. <laughs> you understand that? No, probably not. Anyway, Neville's team has bit the dust. I just raided him and got all of his, I'm guessing, some sort of uh, equipment. Um, anyway, this mission's over. So, four fights and uh, roaming monsters. And this mission is done, done, done. Get some gold while you're at it. Next mission, you will in fact be getting a vital monster, like, uh, say, Swamp Battle Guard. So stay tuned in the next episode for that. And if you guys like my videos, um, like, comment, subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next episode. See you then.